CNN's cue ball of concern, Brian Stelter, slammed Donald Trump for skipping this year's correspondent dinner. In the past, presidents have always shown up, uh, even if they were angry at the press at any given time. And importantly, it's, it's useful for White House aides to schmooze with reporters. Yeah. It's helpful for us to get to know our sources. There's some value in these sorts of festive events. Look, it's yet another example of, of what we're seeing. This administration's attack against the media it takes many forms. Oh, geez. So now skipping a dinner is an attack on the media? Bry's really taking this attack on the press stick to crazy heights. And no offense, but maybe skipping a meal now and then might not be a bad thing for some people in the press. <laughs> I include myself. Okay. That's why I'm walking more, Jesse. Okay. As for smoozing being useful, no. For us, this dinner is just an orgy of self-congratulation with sweaty lemmings complimenting their shared opinions while peering over each other's shoulders to see what coked up third tier celebrity <laughs> might stumble into the stinky overcrowded mess hall. Trust me, the halitosis is so thick you could cut it with a cake knife. Of course, some will say Trump's a coward for avoiding this clown show, but that's not cowardice, it's common sense. Why go to a place where the entire theme will be orange man bad? Featuring the same moronic platitudes expressed by the same lunatics who've never offered a thought that might offend their own tight circle. Here's a thought. Why not hire a host who doesn't parrot the predictable jokes? Imagine a Jordan Peterson, Joe Rogan, Dave Rubin. That's the real cowardice, being afraid to challenge the media mob orthodoxy. But Greg, it's for charity. True. But by skipping the dinner, Trump has stripped away the novelty that turned the original charity event into a thirst fest for spotlight chasing lollipops. He made it great again. It's now about journalism. No wonder they're miserable. <laughs> you know what, Dana, you know what this, this event, it was, it's supposed to be about charity, and that's good. It started that but way. you know what it became? It became events for people like Avenatti. Do you know that the, the flame of the moment that would show up and be... And you know people who would invite Avenatti. Yes. You know them very <laughs> exactly. well. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, I went six years in a row. The yes. Bush administration. Uh, I'm not a night owl. No, you're not. Uh, it was like one of the. You're a night peep. Uh, but I did like. I did like to see the folks. I, I did like to see people. That was fun. It was also always colder than you thought it was going to be. So you dress up. This is miserable. Here's the thing. <laughs> Um, he's not coming to the dinner, guys. Yes. So just like let it go. Yes. But also, they do have a point. It's not like he's just skipping the dinner, like, oh, I got something. He's going to go to a rally and he's going to say, I came here instead, instead of, of being with them, and he's going to attack the media. So that's their point. Yo, it's win win, uh, Jesse. They get to sulk and he gets to go look at those people sulking. It's <laughs> like they got stood up for the prom. Yeah, and they ruined the White House Correspondent Center party, and now they're complaining that Trump's not going. Mm -hmm. They've been brutal to him and say he doesn't care anymore. And this thing peaked a long time ago. They used to have better celebrities. They used to have better comedians. <laughs> I went a couple years ago. It probably peaked then, and now I don't go anymore. <laughs> it, it, it is, it is, I, 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 you know, out of respect, it, you shouldn't really be talking about people's physical characteristics, mm, Greg. Thank you. you know, I'm above all that. I know you I are. I never would do anything like that. <laughs> Um, but, you know, he, I, I don't also don't like when grown men seem so concerned and upset yes. about things. <laughs> it's, it's like you're a grown man yeah. and he's constantly offended. Mm -hmm. What grown men do you know that are constantly offended? Well, who it's are you bizarre. Talking about? Uh, the guy oh, on I CNN. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got you. <laughs> hey, hey, Juan. The good news about this event is that they're having like a journalistic historian. Ron uh, Chernow. Yeah, yeah. So it's 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 actually going back to its roots. So once again, Donald Trump has improved something. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> he's made the he's made the correspondence dinner great again. Wow. Are you going? I, Are you going? I don't think I'm. I, you, I go usually. I, I don't. I haven't followed. I have to check it out. I've been invited to a bunch of parties. I haven't responded. But, but my feeling is that you know I I think I agree with what Dana's saying. I think he uses this to play to right wing grievance. Oh, the press is well, so I didn't evil. Say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he did not say that. She just said he's going to go out. Of, he's going to go out. He always, you know what he does? He's like the nonsense regurgitator. He takes what you say and then spits it out and it means something different. Yeah. Well, here's what I heard. I heard her say he's going to go out and hold rallies and he's no, going to say the press is terrible here, and I'm here with listen. you. I'm here with you. I'm not there with those right. evil people in the press. But he's the guy who talks about enemy of the press. Mm -hmm. He's the guy who says fake news mm -hmm. and it turns out, according to the Mueller report, 
he's telling more lies about the news than the media is telling. Oh, yeah, well, no collusion. How was oh, that? Oh, no, right. how about this? You know, Trump <laughs> Tower, oh, I wasn't trying this to is, fire Jim Comey. This Colby. is about Correspondent Center. Emily, oh uh, you, are, you are new to this world. Would you, if you, would you go? Uh, I, you would probably like. Are, are you she going? would definitely I'm, go. I'm not. Oh, you're not I'm going. Not, no, I'm not attending Wait, but she this lives in year. Seattle. She, you know hard. what? You'll miss getting hit on by Jeffrey Tubin. <laughs> you, you made it sound really exciting, definitely in your intro, and uh, really <laughs> enjoyable. I will say that I found it interesting that Stelter focused uh, what he focuses on every day in terms of tearing apart, which is this administration. Then why would he care so much if but, they come? Because he says the two reasons to come are to celebrate the First Amendment and to raise money for the journalism scholarship. Attending does not preclude either of those. And last mm -hmm. time I checked, he says he celebrates the First Amendment daily with his reporting. Mm, well, he says he wants to schmooze with White House officials. I hate schmoozing. And that, too. Oh, and wait also, a I think it's funny because the president said no one from the White yeah, House was allowed to it. go. And the, the point, there are a lot of people from the administration and the White House who talk to reporters yeah. off the record. Of and that's always, like, very enjoyable, and we encourage that. Including right. the president. All right, that's true. <laughs>